In this example, we will use MATLAB to observe the effects of integrator windup. This is a common problem in plants that are subjected to a saturation, which is often the case in physical systems. We start by opening the MATLAB file PID windup1. Then load the Simulink model PID windup. The Simulink model has the plant we want to control. There is a process here, and here we have a PI controller, the I line and the proportional line. This plant is subjected to saturation, which means that there is a limit in the input this plant can receive. For this particular example, this limit comes in the form of a maximum voltage that can be delivered to the plant in the power unit. The power unit can only deliver something between negative 1 and 1 volts. Anything greater than that will be limited to either negative 1 or 1 volt. In a system with saturation, the, as the error keeps increasing because the system is saturated and it cannot take actions to correct for the error, the integral will keep integrating an error that is not changing over time because the power unit here is saturated. This results in a large amount of stored integral gain because of the loop here that has an integral gain and this accumulated integral error will then will eventually be delivered to the plant and cause a high overshoot. To prevent this from occurring we can use this anti-windup loop. And notice that this loop compares the input and the output to the element in the simulation that is subjected to a saturation. So long as the input to the power unit is less than its maximum or minimum value, say 0.5 volts, then the output is the same as the input. When that happens, then this subtraction is zero and this feedback loop is not active. But now if the power unit receives anything outside of its bounds, say two volts, then two volts are delivered to the power unit, but only one comes out, which means that the result of the subtraction is no longer zero. This error is then multiplied by the anti-windup gain Kw and injected back into the loop. When injected here, it is subtracted from the current error. The error now will be decreased to prevent this integral gain to build up too fast. And once the system is no longer saturated, then the anti-windup loop is not activated. And you go back to a PI controller. Now let's see the influence of this KW gain in the time response of the system. You can go back to the MATLAB and run this code. This code will also run Simulink and plot the results automatically. And here are the results. The input is a step command that goes from 0 to 1, and now the plant output will start to change. The objective is to get it to go to 1, so the error is defined as 1 minus the current output, and the error is plotted here. In the beginning we have 1 minus 0, so the error is 1, and now as the plant starts to change output and go up, we are thinking this error, multiply that by a proportion by a constant k that gives the proportional part, multiplying that by a another constant and taking the integral under this area. This gives the integral part here. Because the error at the beginning is large, the result of the proportional plus the integral, which is the control effort seen here, is very large. Because of the saturation, this cannot go higher than 1, which means that the desired control effort is greater than 1 to minimize the error that we see here, but the system cannot take anything greater than 1. This means that the integral gain will keep integrating an error that is not responding effectively to the command. So this first part of the error is now integrated, and when the system is no longer saturated past around 1.5 seconds here, then all the integral gain that was accumulated during this, this phase is now delivered to the plant and that's why we see this large overshoot. But this is of course not desirable. Now let's go back here and change the integrator wind up. Let's put that to 50. As you can see here, saturation still occurs, but over a shorter period of time and the overshoot decreases as Kw increases. And this is a way to prevent wind up.